he snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Bo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, deep engineering. It's a name tag. Hey guys, you lose Matt here, and we are back with more Beacon Pines. We just got caught by Roxy, and Rolo kind of blew my cover. So let's see what trouble we're getting into. Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice said they were having a. I couldn't help but notice you snuck on this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest looks like they were hit with Hank's Atomic shrink Ray. All the more reason to keep on digging. There's gotta be more than more to life the puny carrots. Look, Roxy. Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind. Oh, I do mind. I'm not gonna catch the hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, uh -oh. cracking her knuckles. Uh -oh. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, in the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged, enraged Roxy was to be a little, a little chill. It's my only option. <laughs> in the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was be to be super a chill. chill. Super chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer and sunshine, and we just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems t for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always said, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, oh, rats. I expect a full report back. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. Be alone? So, Fitz. <laughs> what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I was trying to put the boobs on. Like, uh, maybe I could just get her. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. A bit much, if you ask me. Indulgent. Just a little bit. So I guess we're going this way? Hey, Sullivan! Apologies, no time for chit chat. That's rude. Jeff's Abandoned. hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Oh no. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. Better check back later. But there's books outside, I want them. Edumacation is really good. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... Just... Just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. I promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Uh-huh. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I gotta go. Sweeter than any gem on earth. Oh my god. Oh, don't talk about... Grand the booth was brand new. Oh. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. I'm sure... 
Guess we're going. Who are you? Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs are any different people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into Weep Woods, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Okay. Wait, what's this over here? Luca this is probably the right idea. Beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Mm, that's strange. That is? After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't blame them. I'll check the main... I'll check the main gate now, actually. The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. Mm. Yeah, you've cursed this town. Ah, no. This is a cute little cottage. Let me check over here real quick. Nothing. Damn. I'm trying to find more of my little badge things. What is this? Hello? Let me in! Well, to no avail, but it's a really cute little cottage over here. To the woods. Shwoop. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Oh. Oh. No turning back now. Caution. Electrified fence? Oh, is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolla do if he was Luca here? Luca often asked himself what Rolla would do, so that he could rule out that option. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm definitely not touching that thing. So I gotta find something. Luca knew that if he gave up- No, we're not giving up. I didn't mean to go near the exit. What was that? Did I pick up? Wait, give me the can. Oh! As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Oh! Two bulbs remained. No! It worked? Okay, cool. That's two. One more to go. Yes! The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. But they look like a side path. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Mm. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. Probably stinks, the dormant man. building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolla wasn't exaggerating for what's, what's going on here. There was here. only one way to find out. I feel like there was a weird path. Hang on. Is there a path? There is a path. Property of Alatide Fertilizer Company. Looks old. But that looks like poison. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go and investigate. The water looked almost diseased. It flowed Ugh. slowly into the woods. Oh no. Maybe this is why everything can't grow? Probably shouldn't the run through it. A subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Interesting. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. Something tells me I'm gonna have to go back to that turning point so I can have Rolo here with me. Oh boy. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper. Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. We gotta move. Hello? Uh. Shit. Um... <laughs> the heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Oh no. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It yeah. lunged toward him. 
He tried to scramble away, oh, no. but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Oh my god, no, wait, no, Luke wait, but his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. Yeah. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. I, uh. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I, I just know it. We just gotta try From again, that's all. A charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Okay. Now, let's try something different. So, I don't have any other options there, so we can go... So those are all good. So we have to go back to here. We gotta get Rolo with me. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. It works, it works, you know. Make a break for it! What have you done? Ah! <laughs> Did the little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerp. You gotta come home eventually. Oh! Sorry! Yay! Now we get to investigate with Rollo! Hey! Sorry about that. Rollo can get overexcited Solomon sometimes. Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine Fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all this, with all that business about your mother and what. Uh, I'm getting by. Still away from her at all? No. That is truly a shame. At least someone asked. Your grandmother's taken residence to keep house? Yeah. And how's that going? Mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm hmm. She's still settle settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who, who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say. It's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Is that your daddy? Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, Eris. I was taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a valentine now. I'm waiting for you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. I'm pretty sure this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Well, bye. We could probably not talk to him again. <laughs> Look, my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Duck Creek, kind of in a hurry right now. <sighs> Boy's got too much of his father in him. He says I think it's a bad thing. Uh, I win! Well, I hope! <laughs> I am a champion! 
Where are we racing? Did that rock get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has this side always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around the electrified fence? Don't worry, I've got this. Why'd you do that? How is that? You can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. Well, now. Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure that you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. From a safe distance. Alright, we're gonna do this whole thing again. Boink! Okay, maybe not. Maybe not that one. Boink! Whoa, you're a genius! <laughs> I know. And then we're gonna do that one. I think that did it! Luca, you never failed to impress. Wait, but side path! As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Oh boy, oh boy! Check it out! Dad, Rolo, you were exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are all the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome! Rumble. Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did! No, don't why? Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose! Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder! <laughs> no dice, it won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster's new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all, who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me in. Hello. It would be my honor to throw you in the trash. <laughs> okay, we're making waves here. Come on, Lady Luck! So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of a stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone! Hold two phones! Two of them! Oh my god, check these bad boys out. Are, the, are those? Walkie talkies? Just like hang atomic communicators. These actually work? Grand Command to Hang Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is, this is Hang Atomic, Grand Command. You're coming in at 5x5. Five five. How, um. How are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little scuff. It's getting a little stuffy in here. Rusty assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? So it's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. No, not squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. You saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Oh no. Is that? No. I can't. Is that a body? Please tell me it's not a body. It looks very body like. Got petrified under the weight of the bag. 
Oh god, tell me it's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know that... Do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? The ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Oh, felt around at the large sack which burdened them. Oh, aha! He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Bo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, deep engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm, this is no time to panic. I'm not panicking! You are panicking! <laughs> Hello? Calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime color head would be in here? You guys are really fucking loud. I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right, we're clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Or I'll give you credit. You sure found it an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Oh my god. 35, 36, 37. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Yeah, no, that does not seem like Screw a good it, time. It's long enough. Luca carefully Whole half a minute. the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. So. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. I think we're in the clear, right? He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Grand! Chicken Heinz flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost <laughs> as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Yeah, I definitely... Chapter three. I don't know if I'd be able to sleep like that. I feel like that would be, like, way too hard. All right, we just managed to escape, not get caught, but we found some secrets going on with that warehouse. Um, so I'm leaving this part here before we start chapter three. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this as much as I have, because this is like, what is going on? What is happening at this warehouse? But anyway, please guys like the video, maybe leave a comment on your opinions. It, how do we feel about these kids and what they're doing? What do you think is going to happen? I'm very curious. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.